Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And as you guys can see, no ban detected. I am shadow ban free. Thank the Lord. It only took about three days, which is absolutely insane because this is the first time I've been banned on Modern Warfare 3. And the last time I was banned was during Warzone 2, like late into Warzone 2 around this time last year. And it took me over two weeks to get unshadow banned. So we're back and we finally were able to load up into a game and let's drop a DNA bomb first game. So let's do it. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, boys. I have not played in three days. That's why I haven't uploaded it two days. So it's kind of nice being back on. My controller feels way different. So I might not be that good, but I'm gonna be addressing some of the, I guess not even controversy, but some of the comments I was getting about how I play and all that stuff because a lot of people I think I actually do cheat when I don't. And they're like saying that I aim by, I have walls, I'm not looking at the mini map. Right? And I haven't, I've been having to explain like what the hell I'm doing because, bro, I don't cheat. I literally just play a game mode. I literally just play a game mode that has no skill-based matchmaking at all like i don't know what else i have to do to prove that i don't cheat this guy needs to be quiet i'll tell you i'm dropping dna bomb right here right now but yeah it's my first game on in three days oh my god there's a guy sniping bro they're all camping back there i don't know how i didn't kill any any of them I don't know what to do here. My controller feels weird. My my settings feel weird. Oh my god, I'm getting sniped at. I need them to push me. There we go, just like that. They're literally all snipers, bro. Like, what do you want me to do? People are saying that I camp too much. Like, bro, I don't know how low your IQ has to be, but if there's a drone strike, why would you even push out and try to fight people with that when you can die and you're that close to a DNA bomb? It just, it just makes literally no sense to me. You know, I think people were commenting saying that I cheated at a specific minute in time. When I literally did not. Right here, like when I'm looking at the top of my mini map, here's what it looks like when I'm not, you know, have the camera flipped and shit. I need ammo though. There we go. Yeah, I'm not pushing it. There's definitely a sniper just looking down my throat. Yep, right there. Oh my god, I got stuck between the glass, dude. Got two there looking at me like, what, what am I supposed to do? Genuinely, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I have one kill away too, bro. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Took me a while, but here we go. So with that unlocked, we should be chilling now. We just need to get freaking UAVs. But literally, no skill based matchmaking game mode. Right? Combine that with like my already good settings, right? I'm using settings that I that I know that I'm good with, that I genuinely like. I'm not changing my settings all the time, right? Also combine that with the fact that I'm actually a good player and a smart one. Right? I just got my first DNA mob back, bro. What else do I gotta prove to y'all? I don't cheat, I don't, you know, reverse boost, I don't do any of that shit. I literally just play good. Like I don't know how else to explain it, man. This is my first game on in three days. Got another swarm. This guy's like, <laughs> like I don't know. Like if I gotta explain how 10 v 10 has no skill based matchmaking, I will. There's just so many players that the game has to match make that they just, it just doesn't do it, right? So that's why 10 v 10 has no skill based matchmaking. They're all gonna be spawning here. But yeah, like, I don't know what else I got to show off and do to explain to y'all that I don't, I don't cheat. I don't reverse boost. I literally just use what the game gives me. You know what I'm saying? And I could have gotten a second one if I got this DNA bomb a lot, you know, faster. But since this is my first game on in three days, I haven't been playing. I couldn't play, right? I don't know what you guys want me to do, man. I'm calling this DNA bomb in to get the thumbnail. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. 
Well, I went 70 and zero. <laughs> like, come on, dude. And for the looping kill streaks, that's what they added into the game. I'm just using it. And let me show you guys why I have, you know, aimbot like settings and all that stuff and like why people are accusing me. So for the controller settings, this is my layout. I use L1 and R1 to shoot and aim. Uh, my equipment and all that stuff, my lethal and tactical is L2 and R2. I jump with left stick and I slide and dive with right stick. And this is the big part. My dead zones, my left stick minimum and right stick minimum are literally less than five, zero, and then four, the minimum three. But the maxes are also low. So what the maxes do is I don't have to put, you know, 100 pressure on it. I can only put 50 and it'll, you know, pop up. It'll start moving me. For the right stick max, this just allows me to hit the maximum input quicker. So these are my dead zones. And that's why my aim is just, it's a lot stronger than maybe yours because you're running like 10, 10 or whatever the default is. My stick sensitivity is 11, 10. I have a lower vertical sense because for war zone and even in multiplayer, when someone's jumping off a building and or they're vaulting over something, my setting is not that high enough to actually make a massive mistake. And my micro adjustments are a lot easier to make and way better for me. My ADS sensitivity multiplier is 0.60. Most of you guys are running out with 1.0, 1.2, which I used to do, but I realized with my high sense and a high ADS sensitivity multiplier, I'm gonna be whiffing more shots. So I went lower on that. I know I have no custom sensitivity per zoom. My gameplay, automatic tax break. Literally, I have no different settings and or applications that I use, right? Right now, when I was just in this game, nothing's opened up. I'll go over here where it shows all my hidden icons. Literally nothing. Elgato, OBS Studio, Steam, and then this, what's it called? Freaking NZXT Kraken, where literally I can never eject it. I got to fix that. But I have nothing on right now. Look, we search up VPN, right? VPN settings. That's for Windows, though. I don't have a VPN. It would have been under VPN connections. I don't have a VPN. Like I said, last video where I talked about getting banned, I literally showed off my entire PC, my wallpaper, my desktop, my apps, literally everything. I am a legit player. I only got banned because I was playing too good. I am too good at the game to the point where Activision thought I was cheating. And the only reason why it only took me three days to get unbanned is because they just realized, looking at my last, you know, couple of games, right? I was just using kill streaks that got me kills. I was playing smart. I was using weapons that I like. And lastly, I'm in a game mode with no skill-based matchmaking at all. I'm a legit player. I call out people who make fake content who cheat as well why would i cheat myself it makes no sense that would literally ruin my entire career but yeah like my first game back in three fucking days i drop a dna bomb that shows that i am good i don't need hacks i don't need cheats i don't need to reverse boost i don't need the vpn so all the people who are fucking saying some stupid ass shit with no other research on me go suck a dick okay and if you're still mad about me being unbanned me dropping a dna bomb me abusing the no skill based matchmaking game mode that activision themselves added then just know that I'm better than you and you know it. To everyone that supports me, I appreciate you. To everyone that literally knows that I don't cheat, that has played with me before, people I've seen on stream, they know that I'm insane. Thank you. I love you guys. But this just got me wild up because people literally were commenting and DMing me on Twitter like, oh, you're a fucking cheater and shit. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't cheat. I literally exposed myself for a video. What other content creator has done that? Tell me that. What other content creator has exposed themselves, their entire PC to whoever can watch it? Like, it makes no sense. I, I don't know what else I got to do. If you think I'm a cheater, just know I'm better than you in all video games. Elden Ring, RPGs, Boulder's Gate, Super Smash Bros., freaking Mortal Kombat, Minecraft, Battlefield, even Halo. I'm better than you in all other games. If you think otherwise, I love you and I appreciate you because I've been doing this shit for three years. I've been calling out cheaters for three years. I've been exposing people for three years on Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. So why would I even want to cheat myself? That just makes me look like an absolute hypocrite, but also just use you guys for views and subscribers. I don't want to do that. I never want to do that. So yeah, but yeah, spin your boy limbo though, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.